welcome back to the Cracking Pang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 572, subtree of another tree. Before we get into the question prompt, you guys know the drill. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. All right. Given the roots of two binary trees, root and subroot, return, <laughs> return true if there's a subtree of root with the same structure and node values of subroot and false otherwise. A subtree of a binary tree is a tree that consists of a node in the tree and all of its nodes descendants. The tree tree could also be considered a subtree of itself. So let's look at this example where we're given the root, which is this uh, tree here, three, four, five, one, two, and then we have four, one, two. So we can see that this tree is a subtree of the original because this entire tree, four, one, two, is contained within um, the tree here. So that's why it's a subtree. So like we can see, the subtree was actually in the left hand side of our uh, original tree. It could also be in the right hand side or the two trees can actually be the same. In the case that root actually equals subroot, um, then the trees are considered sub uh, subtrees of themselves, right? Since a tree can be considered a subtree of themselves. So if the, if the two are the same, then the they're considered subroots. So that gives us three cases that we need to check for. The first case is that we have the same tree where if they're the same tree, then basically all the values uh, at all the positions have to be the same, right? So that's the, um, case one, which is the same tree. And then we could have subtree uh, in root uh, left side, right? Like we saw here, the subtree was in the left side, um, and that was one of the cases. And the last case is that the subtree is going to be in the right side, right? So it's going to be in the roots right, root uh, right side, right? So those are our three cases. So essentially what we want to do is we want to solve this recursively because obviously figuring out whether a whole tree uh, is equal is a subtree of another tree is hard, but it's really easy to basically break it down into smaller pieces. So what we're going to do here is we're always going to have access to the root of our tree and the root of our subtree. And what we want to do is essentially we want to check, okay, are the two root values the same? If they're not the same, then that means that obviously the trees are not the same. So we want to go into the left and the right of our root and now look for that subtree. So since the three and the four aren't the same, we're going to go into the left hand side and the right hand side to check those trees. So now we're going to be checking this subtree here and we're going to check, okay, is this four equal four? Yes. So this could potentially be the start of our subtree. So now that these two match, we want to basically check whether or not the children match. So we're going to again go into the left and the right. And now since we matched at the top, now we can check the left and the right. So we want to check whether this subtree here with the one is the same as this subtree here with the one. And we can see that they are the same because they have the same value and obviously they don't have the same, uh, they don't have any children. So those are actually a subtree. Same thing with this two here. So these two obviously match. So we've now found our subtree and that's essentially how we want to do it. We want to go all the way down and, you know, search for a point where our roots uh, of our two trees that we're comparing have the same value. And then we're going to look for the children. So if they have the same value, then both the children have to match in terms of being the same tree. If they don't match on the, the, the root values, then we want to check whether or not um, the left child is actually inside of, um, you know, either the left or the right here and same with the right child. So this does get a little bit messy when you try to draw it out. As you can see, it's a bit of a messy diagram so far. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into the code editor and we're going to type this up and it's actually quite simple. We'll go through all of the cases and checking all of the edge cases as well to make sure that you can uh, cover all your bases and we'll solve this nice and easy. So I'll see you there in a second. We are back in the code editor. The first thing I want you to realize is that we have two nodes here, which represent our roots, right? And we can see that they're optional tree nodes, which mean they can potentially be null. Now, if we look back to the question prompt, we remember that a subtree um, could be, you know, a tree could be a subtree of itself, which basically means if the tree equals itself, 
then that's fine. So if both of these roots are actually null, then that would be considered a subtree of itself because they're both technically the same tree uh, by not existing. It's weird, but if you don't do this, um, you're gonna miss that edge case. So you kind of need it anyway. So we're gonna say if both of them are null, then we can return true. So we're gonna say if not root and not uh, sub root, then we can return true, right? Okay, if one of them is now null and the other isn't, then obviously we have one tree that's defined, one that's undefined, therefore there's no possible way it could be a subtree. So now that we know that they're both not null, if one of them is null, then we can return false. So we're gonna say if not root or not uh, sub root. And the reason that we can do this now is because in the previous step we have verified that they're both not um, null. So if one of them is null at this point, then we can return false. So we're gonna say return false. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna handle the three cases. And remember the three cases are that the, tree, uh, the trees are the same or that uh, the trees are not the same, but the subtree, the subroot exists in the left-hand side of root or the subroot exists in the right-hand side of root. So let's now check that. So how do we know if they're the same tree? Well the root values have to be the same. So let's make a, make a check for that. So we're going to say if root.val equals to subroot.val and so now that the roots are the same, then their left and their right subtrees have to be the same. So we're going to have a helper function here, which is basically going to tell us whether or not two trees are um, the same tree. So we're going to say uh, and, and this time we'll call it uh, self dot is same tree and we're gonna pass in the root and the sub root so uh, if this is true uh, across the board so both these are true so if the two root values are the same and their left and right trees are the same then we can return true because obviously they're the same tree otherwise if the roots aren't the same that's fine as long as the left uh, as the sub root exists in the le uh, left hand side of root or the subroot exists in the right hand side of root, then we could still have uh, that subroot is a subtree of root. So let's now do return self dot is uh, same tree. And we're gonna pass this time root dot left because we wanna check against the left side of root. And we're gonna pass in the entirety of subroot or if the right side matches, right? So, oops, uh, sorry, we wanna pass in self dot is uh, subtree here. So we basically just want to start from the beginning uh, is subtree and we're going to pass root dot right and subroot. So we're essentially just going to go into the main uh, function here and we're going to basically start this process all over again. Otherwise we need the function to basically handle whether or not they're the same tree because that's the only way it would work up here. So let's now have def is same tree and we're gonna pass in node one and node two. So basically this function is just gonna tell us whether or not these two trees are the same. So we're going to say, again, we need to handle those cases where we check some of the edge cases. So the first one is whether or not the two trees are actually the same. So we're gonna say, if not node one and not node two, uh, then obviously both are undefined. Those can technically be the same thing. So we're gonna return true here. Again, we wanna check whether or not uh, one of them is null. So we're gonna say if not node one or not uh, node two, then we wanna return false. Otherwise, we basically just wanna do the same thing. So we wanna say if node one dot val equals node two dot val, that means the roots are the same. Now we need to make sure that um, both the left and the right uh, subtrees are gonna be the same. Otherwise, they're not the same tree. Remember, this function tells us whether the two trees are actually the same not whether the subtree, this is the subtree function. This function is just for telling us whether or not they're actually the same tree. So we're gonna say return self dot is same tree. And we're gonna pass in node one dot left and node two dot left. So we're gonna be making sure that the left subtrees are the same and the right subtrees have to be the same. Self dot is same tree. We're gonna pass in node one dot right and we're gonna pass in node two dot right. So if the root values are the same and the left and the right subtrees are the same, then obviously this will be the same tree. Otherwise, we return false here. So let me just run this, make sure I haven't made any self 
uh, cell. Where is that? Cell. Oh, right, cell. Okay, cool. That is why I just double check these and we can submit it now and we can see that it works. Cool. So what is the time and space complexity for this algorithm? Well, for the time complexity, in the worst case, the two trees are going to be the same tree and they're full, right? They're going to be you know, so some non null tree for both of them, in which case we basically have to traverse both of the trees completely. So if the number of nodes in tree one is n and the number of nodes in tree um, two is m, obviously they're the same, uh, it's just going to be big O of n plus m, um, which I guess is just big O of n plus n because they're the same tree, right? which is just asymptotically big O of n. Uh, space complexity wise, we don't define any extra space here, although we are doing this recursively, which means that there's the implicit stack frames that we use here. So if your interviewer wants to count that as extra space, it's gonna be big O of n as well, if counting stack frames, uh, otherwise it's just gonna be a big O of one solution. So it's up to your interviewer, just bring it up, be like, hey, this is a recursive solution. We do use stack frames if you want to count it big O of n. If not, it's big O of 1. So that's how you solve, um, you know, subtree of another tree. Relatively simple problem. Uh, can be a little bit confusing with the recursive stuff. I don't think this is necessarily an easy question. I would probably say this is more of a medium, although it is quite popular. Um, and, you know, it's quite upvoted, so it's not uh, the end of the world. But anyway, that's how you solve this question. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm currently doing a systems design series. So if you want to learn about systems design, uh, we'll be doing tons of videos uh, over the coming weeks and months about all the things you need to know for systems design. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.